Hey guys, so today's video is on Beyonce Knowles, and Beyonce is the world famous 35 year old Beyonce Queen Bee. She is an American singer, songwriter, and actress born and raised in Houston, and she is like one of the most famous people, period. <laughs> um, I, I guess I'll just dive right into it. This video is going to be about Beyonce's diet. And after a little bit of searching around on the internet, I came across the fact that Beyonce had gone vegan in 2015, or not specifically vegan, more like plant-based, at the instruction of her personal trainer, whose name is Marco Borges. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but basically his diet plan is a 22-day revolution vegan plan with emphasis on eating fresh, whole, plant-based foods. So he cites, you know, the five key guidelines being choosing plant based over processed foods, eating three mindful meals a day, aim for an 80-10-10. So 80% carbohydrates, 10% fat, 10% protein, breakdown of calories in each meal. He says exercise for 30 minutes each day and drink water, aka don't drink your calories. So this sounds great. You know, this sounds like a really good place to start. I really have nothing to say that's bad about this plan. This sounds fantastic. And uh, Beyonce noted back in 2015 that she had felt amazing benefits from this lifestyle, from this diet, and that she was loving it. The only thing that I would suggest to add to this kind of diet for someone who's as active as Beyonce is, to just keep her away from the coffee and the cigarettes and the other uh, drugs and medica medications and whatever else she's taking, is to perhaps consider adding more calories into her diet and specifically more sugar because she does live such a highly active lifestyle. And you can imagine being on the go for so much of every year, you know, exercising, practicing, singing, dancing, like all these things. She's her own manager. It's just she lives a very active lifestyle. She's a very high stress lifestyle. And so just adding more calories into her day would definitely help her accomplish more and feel better doing it. But I mean, you know, it sounds like she's doing great. Um, I also have to comment on the 30 minutes a day of exercise thing. I mean, 30 minutes of a, uh, a day is really not that much. I mean, of course, if you have a body that works and you want to be healthy and you want to be fit and you want to feel good, you, always you can aim to do more than 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day is an excellent baseline. It's a great place to start. And I totally support that. that that's amazing advice. Um, and he says, don't drink your calories, drink water instead. And I, you know, I mean, obviously, I want you guys to be drinking water too. <laughs> that's an excellent idea. Um, that's a great plan. But also, you know, if you are more active than just 30 minutes of exercise a day, if you are living a more active lifestyle, then you do need more calories. And sometimes, you know, drinking juices or sugar water, or drinking your calories might actually be beneficial to you just because it's easier to get more calories in that way. I find personally, when I'm going out on bike rides that might last a few hours, I find it really beneficial to actually bring sugar water with me because it's just a quick hit of energy, it makes you feel great, and you know, at the end of that long ride, when I might fall, you know, by a thousand or more calories, like I might be burning that many calories just on the ride alone, then, you know, adding those calories back into my diet, it definitely helps for me to feel better the next day, for me to recover better. Um, so I guess I'll move on from talking about myself and talk about Beyonce. So I was really thrilled to see that Beyonce's posted so many uh, vegan posts and that she's been so vocal about her support of a vegan diet for a little while there, you know, I mean, she's she's been cited in media quite a few times. We can see that there's also vegan cupcakes on her channel, but then there's also these eggs, these Easter eggs, and there's this pizza with 
cheese on it, you know, and that is not defined as a vegan product. So I'm just looking at this kind of wondering what is going on here. You know, these non-vegan products are um, more recent posts. So is Beyonce still vegan? Is she still on this diet? You know, I mean, it's great that she was and was doing that and was advocating it. But what is going on now? Because something has clearly changed and something has caused her to go back to consuming animal products. And in my experience, what causes people to go back to eating animal products is calorie deficient diets. So even though her trainer's plan of consuming only plant foods, a strict vegan diet basically, was great in theory. The 80-10-10 is sound and perfect, sounds great. And, you know, the drinking water, getting the exercise, these are all great guidelines, but it sounds to me that Beyonce was not getting enough calories in on this diet. And that's why now she's resolving to consuming animal products again. And, you know, I mean, that's that's the problem we all face when we get hungry enough. Ethics go out the window. Nobody's concerned about the lives of the animals and how this impacts the planet. And, you know, nobody cares when they get hungry enough. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring attention to this and say that you know, it's not necessary to ditch the whole plant-based diet just because you got hungry and just because you started craving cheese. You know, what cravings like that mean, what high-fat, high-protein cravings mean is that you don't, uh, you have not consumed enough calories in your day. So instead of reaching immediately for the animal products, for the cruel products, you can just try to consume more plant-based calories first. So there's also, um, you know, there's also this disheartening uh, fact that Beyonce said that she will likely never give up animal products in her closet or makeup bag. Um, and then she said that she still eats meat sometimes. You know, I mean, that's unfortunate. It's just, it's just not good. It's just not cool. It's not necessary. It doesn't impact her positively or anyone else. And it's just causing so much cruelty to the animals you know that's not necessary and is really mean <laughs> and um yeah i mean she says she enjoys snacks to keep her energy levels up such as fruit oat cakes with cottage cheese or yogurt covered almonds like why add these animal products in there why like they don't they're not necessary they're not going to help you feel better like what you're looking for is a stable source of energy and that's going to be carbohydrates every single time if you need to add sugar for more energy if you're not feeling well enough if you're just not feeling as good as you want to feel add more sugar to your diet exercise more get more sleep de-stress you know there's so many other things that you can do before you reach for those animal products that cause so much harm to the animals you know, she says that she enjoys junk food in moderation, but she doesn't go overboard. I mean, it's just, that's just BS. I'm sorry, Beyonce. There's another thing that I read that I thought was a little bit weird, and that is that Beyonce says that she dances all day long in high heels in order to get ready for a music tour, and I just... Mm. Heels are not good for you, girl. Like, there are just so many things that... There are so many simple, basic things that Beyonce is just getting wrong. And I know that this is, you know, popular culture and you must wear heels. Well, you know, I mean, you don't really. You don't really must wear heels. You know, you don't have to. No one's going to force you to. No one's going to drop you. You're the queen bee. No one's going to drop you if you... If you're vegan, if you're <laughs> advocating the consumption of sugar, if you're advocating leaving the animals alone if you don't want to be in heels like it's queen bee and just like it's queen bee and she can do anything she wants so can you i'm talking directly to you my viewers like you have the power to make the choices of how you want to live your life you don't have to live your life according to anyone else's rule you decide for yourself what's important to you and live your life that way 
according to your own morals and standards. I like, though, that she says that she uh, accepts that she's not naturally skinny and she detests fad diets after trying them and finding that they don't work. Taking a leaf from her book and love your body the way it is and don't harm your health with fad dieting. I love that she says that because she recognizes <laughs> just how harmful these fad diets are, these master cleanse diets, you know? I'm glad to see that she is speaking up against these master cleanse diets, these low-calorie diets, these high-fat, high-protein diets, you know, because it's true. Nobody likes being in that hunger-induced rage and having to deal with that rebound weight gain that is just inevitable on diets that are high in fat, high protein, low calorie, any kind of starvation diet, any kind of diet that's not sustainable for every day for the rest of your life. And that's exactly what a high-carb, low-fat vegan diet is in contrast to that. You know, a high-carb vegan diet, it's not just a diet, it's the lifestyle. It's being active, it's getting those early nights in, it's getting that exercise in, it's living with healthy habits, and everyone can do it. It's easy, it's cheap, there's no excuse. Go vegan, get rid of your excuses, and let me know who you would like me to review next in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. We